Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, the MK lady. Well, you're probably wondering what am I doing, no hair, no makeup for this video. Well, this video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do my makeup with you, a get ready with me video, and I have a bunch of questions, so it's gonna be also a, a Q and A, so question and answer. I get in my videos so in the comments section, so I wrote them all down. There's about 10 questions here, so as I'm getting ready, I will look at the questions and answer them to you, and also I will tell you the makeup that I'm displaying, but that Korean unboxing, the Michael Kors Korean back there, oh my goodness, that is just so beautiful. I decided to wear a gray, a gray top with pearls. This is a Calvin Klein top. And just to kind of give you, one of my subscribers had said that it looks more gray. So I thought that I would give you kind of the look, purse of the day, get ready with me. Uh, I think this is a three in one video. So we'll go ahead and get started because like my under eyes are dark. I just have worked this morning and also I just have a massage schedule this afternoon and I've been waiting for that massage. Like my neck and my shoulders are killing me. So I will get started on that. I am just drinking plain regular water. There's nothing else in here. It's just water. I only have one cup of coffee a day and I already had it this morning. So We'll go ahead and get started with we have 23 minutes that's why I left my camera on is to see how long uh, that my video would go I have my window open also it gets a little hot in my room with all these lights and also um, my husband's on a conference call so I kind of want to drown drown out the noise so we'll go ahead and get started with my primer so this primer I cut it in half because I'm just about out and I didn't want to bust open my new bottle. So it is the Bare Minerals Primer from Primetime. And so I cut it open and there's still lots of product in there. So I'm going to use the rest of what I can use, which, yeah, I think it's getting, I think, I think I've almost used all of it in there. So I just want to put the primer all over and it doesn't seem like there's much left. So I have a little bit on my nails. Don't mind the nails because I was doing some more planting, not on my flowers, but just on my house plants. So you just want to pat it in and there's not much product. So I'm gonna use as much as I can. So I guess the first question I always get asked is, why do I have so many bags? <laughs> that, that, that's a super good question, because there is a lot of bags, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just trying to scrape the little bit of this primer out. Okay, so I think that's done and I can bust open my new stuff. So I do have so many bags because I, love collecting Michael Kors. I love collecting purses. I love, I've been collecting and I'm going to get into that question between six and eight years. So I thought, and I'm going to get into this question. I thought, why not make a YouTube channel? And then it gives me more reason to show my collection so it can help other people and some people might say that it's wasteful um, but it's a hobby and it's also an addiction I guess you could say so now I'm going in with the Tatcha so this one settles in your pores well not settles but kind of I don't know how to describe it it like I guess it kind of I don't know gives you like a smooth face uh, when you have larger pores such as me I and I have larger pores on my on my chin and my nose area 
so I just also put it on my cheeks because as you get older your pores expand <laughs> so that's one of the the downsides and I just I'm using my light up mirror magnifying mirror makes things look bigger like pores so we'll go ahead and put this away so getting back to why do I have so many bags well I like to show and wear different bags every day sometimes a couple times a day so that's the reason why if you just want to hang on for a second I forgot this thing fell off my tripod so it's just the reflector thing and um, I want to get my fan so just look at those there We do have a special guest. You can't see her. She's down below, but that's Tika. So I have my trusty fan that I got on my wedding day from my aunt, my aunt Thelma. And it was so hot on my wedding day. I think it's, um, well, it's 20 years. I got married July 26, uh, 2000. <laughs> so we're, we're coming up to 20 years right away and I've had this fan for 20 years so I'll just give my primer a little dry up you want to let it sit so isn't that just handy and then I was carrying it with me all day that day because it was so hot I think it was like plus 40 degrees Celsius or something I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit so it feels like it's dry now we just want to take two of our foundation brushes and this one is from sephora and then this one is let's see oh nude by nature these this is a set that i got from shoppers and then you want to take some cucumber water i just give them a light spray now we have 23 minutes for, I rub them together like this. I've showed that before. 23 minutes before it cuts out. And we're at 8.46. So the, for the under eye, start with my under eye. And it's the concealer, multi-use sculpting concealer by Too Faced. And it is in the color Snow. So you just want to take like just a tiny dab. Some of the products I've been using for my face have been Drunk Elephant and what is that? Olin Rint Skin or something? I don't know. So we'll just go ahead and dab it. We don't need very much. I find that that banana cream is really helping for the darkness under my eyes. And I do have deep set eyes so <laughs> you can really tell the under eye area because of the shadows so then I'm just gonna take this brush and then just dab it in there kind of squish it like this I really like this camera by the way it's so much fresher and my background looks so much better so I mean that's kind of all you need because we're going to actually mix this with Born This Way foundation in the color Vanilla. I really, really like this foundation. But the one thing about wearing masks right now in public is that a lot of my makeup comes off on those. So I just put a dab and then I just lightly dab it all over. Just get this going and then we'll get on to the next question. So with this little bit left on my hand, I just rub it on my brush. 
So the next question is, what do I do for a living? Well, I do have a bachelor's degree and also a master's degree from a university. And I am in the clinical field. So one of my passions has always been to help people. And ever since I was a little girl, I was always super, super helpful. And it's just a perfect fit to help people. And I work with vulnerable people with a target group in the vulnerable population. So, and I've been at the job for 21 years. So, I love it. It's my passion as well. And to help people is a good thing. So, that is my profession in the clinical field. I know that doesn't answer much, but I don't want to be too revealing just, you know, because there's some not so great people that uh, do make comments on my YouTube channel. So I just block them or all well, the redness is gone or just delete them. So, and it's a public forum. So anybody can comment really. So there, I think that's all there is to that. So, you can see, you wanna make sure you get the neck area as well. Now, we are going on to the powder. So the two powders that I really like so this one is the Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals. So this one I put all over my face and it's also a smoothing and a mattifying. And the Kat Von D setting powder is the one that I use underneath my eyes because then it doesn't cake. So I just take just a smidgen like that. And just lightly under the eyes just like that and that's all I need for right now now we're getting into the bare minerals so this one I've dropped a few times so I don't really need to put it at the top and just a smidgen like that this one seems to like smooth everything over. I really do like it. Brightens up too. It has a little bit of a tinge, but it's super good. So that's all I do really for foundation for my face. And this video is already at 15 minutes so lipstick is always my go-to essence lipstick and it's so old but it's in 07 natural beauty and I really like you can find the set shoppers I really do like the the formula of it So I do have a few different colors, but this one, 07 Natural Beauty, is my favorite. And I need to break open my new Marc Jacobs because this one is getting 
um, used up. So this is the Marc Jacobs and this one is the Love Buzz Enamored. I can actually read that today. So now we are getting into the highlighting. So I just have these two brushes, these highlighting brushes, and I'm not going to take out my palette because it's a big palette, but it's just from, I believe, Shoppers. So I just use this big brush and then go like that and put it around my eyes. And I've had this L'Oreal Pro Contour for a while, so we're gonna contour our cheeks right here and the bit underneath, and then give it some right here. Oops. Give it some shape. My cheeks, cheeks, <laughs> cheeks are, I got chubby cheeks. <laughs> so that is our contour. And I do use this, I went back to this Tarte Tipsy powder because I like it so much and it sits really nice on the skin. Put that back. And then I take this contour one again, and then I go the opposite way because I'm putting the darker one back underneath now. Which one did I do that? So this one I might mess up. Nope. So that is all for foundation, oh, not foundation, powder. And then I take the fan brush again a quick sweep of highlighter I'm not rushing this time this camera lasts longer and the next question what do I do with the purses when I'm done with them well that's a really really good question I give them away or I sell them or I gift them and I do find that if the style is just not working for me, they need to go on for my collection or they're just sitting on my shelves. So, so I have this huge palette. I showed it in the last Get Ready With Me. And this one is by Tarte as well. And I got it last year. So I'm just going to take this bigger, I don't know what kind of brush it is, but it's... um. Uh, it's the nude by nature so we just want to do a little bit of highlight around the crease of the eye I'm probably doing this all backwards but just um, it's just what I do so then that's kind of the crease of the eye and then I want to take because we're just kind of being casual and I'm wearing grays, I think I will, um, I'll just do the blue, <clears throat> blue and gray. Hang on. <laughs> My <clears throat> throat gets really dry. So you just, this is really pigmented. So you just want to take a little dab of that. And then I just put it on the outer corner of the eye. We're not going crazy because all we have is a massage today. So it's probably gonna go all on the massage bed. It's been a few months for everybody really. So we are just doing very light. Actually, maybe I'll go a little darker. And it's just a gray. On the corner so it looks like a bit of a mess right now but we'll fix that so now I'm taking this brush and I'm just going to use this lighter color right here and put it on the inside of the eye 
just to bring, I don't know, some shininess, I guess. So we're done with that palette. I don't want very much today, so we'll scooch that back in there. And then I go back to the biggest brush again, and then I just kind of blend it in with everything. So, very basic, not, um, not a whole lot to this. <laughs> so, the next question, how did I start YouTube? Well, I started it, my first video was of my dog, Tika, and she's, she's back here sleeping on the floor. And it was just a 30 minute video and I wanted to just kind of, um, I don't know, just start a YouTube channel because of all the purses. So just randomly started it one day with my phone actually. And it was, it was just kind of a spur of the moment because actually I'm really, really shy and I like to keep things really, really private. So, but I thought open this up to the world for the world to see all this goodness here. <laughs> So that's why I started. So we forgot, I forgot my little caterpillars here. I got my eyebrows done once professionally and they were just like little tiny strips and it was the worst experience ever. So I've been told about this threading and I don't know, I'm just kind of scared. I don't want caterpillar or not caterpillar I just don't want like little kind of I don't know little strips <laughs> so this is the Kat Von D brow struck powder that I'm using you could already see the difference it's it's very very pigmented and this is just in the color brown and I know I'm probably going to need to invest in some brow gel or something in the near future because they have a life of their own sometimes and they scraggle everywhere. So we are getting to the 23 minute mark and I'm just going to give my camera a pause here and we'll do my eyes. So I'm back. I had to uh, let my camera restart and reset because it's like 23 minutes that it goes for like you've seen in yesterday's video so I grabbed some more water and I grabbed some more items to show you in this video so remember I was telling you that this primer is out well I did get the replacement from Sephora so now I can use this prime time primer and it looks like this and it's not a squeeze bottle it's actually a pump so I'll get that in my makeup arsenal and so we were just finishing my eyes my eyebrows my caterpillars and I was actually still going on the questions so um, I was on how did I start YouTube now what camera do I use so I just switched over to the mark the Canon G7X mark 2 and I did have the Sony a5100 I like them both for different reasons but I like the Canon better because it is a little brighter in my background and I, I don't know I really like the look of this so we'll get on we have four more questions where do I purchase my Michael Kors bags or my bags in general? So either the MK Coach or Tory Birch website, I purchased on those. And Macy's and Bloomingdale's when they have duty free and Nordstrom Rack, I've purchased from there. And now Nordstrom is in Canada, so I've been purchasing Tory Birch from there. And Shop the Upside, which is Canadian, and that's a pre-loved site. The Real Real Facebook and Kijiji is where I purchase my bags from. So now we're getting into the Kat Von D liner. So I just opened it just now, and I do love the liner of this, the tip 
because it goes on really nice and that is really all you need to do we're not doing a dark eye actually that line is a little darker than this line so I'll just press a little harder and get a little bit of a line going there so I kind of smudge it out so that it doesn't look so sharp and that's the Kat Von D liner so the next question is how do I store my bags so when they're not on the display I store them in dust bags but I'm using this whoops I don't want to wreck I'm, I'm getting a little crooked here <laughs> I'm using this shelf right now for my extra storage. So I'll put them in dust bags and some of them that I've just used, like the prism back there, I just used for the video. That one needs to go in its dust bag right away. So when they're not in use, they go on this shelf right here. And it looks like the camera is moving a little funny. Okay, wait. And I want to apologize for my my flower video because I was like making the motions really fast and I need to go a little slower because some of my viewers got a little bit dizzy. I'm not the greatest with my handheld camera skills but I will get better and I won't make you guys dizzy or sick when you watch my next video like that. So now we are going to go into the Hourglass Mascara and I did order the Dior mascara but I canceled that order because after a few hours the Dior kind of flaked on my under eyes and I kind of looked a little bit like a raccoon <laughs> and um, I do like this Too Faced better than sex mascara as well but this one kind of flaked too so I'm back to my hourglass mascara and I just do a couple of swipes just to put a little bit of product and one or two swipes underneath and the same I'd love to get fake eyelashes someday but I don't know, I'm too lazy for that I don't want to do the upkeep of it either so instead of a curling iron I just take these fingers and curl them up and that is just as good that's all I do now I haven't been using my my prime time or sorry bare mineral bare minerals do miss but maybe it'll help not put the makeup so much on my um my mask when I wear my mask so and we'll take my 20 year old fan I think Jaclyn Hill is where I got this idea of the fan and actually I was just digging in my wedding box trying to find the fan because I remember my aunt bought it for me for my wedding so feels like it's dry So now we're going to move on to the hair and like I said I don't really do too much to my hair some days and it I, I had curled it yesterday so sometimes the curl from yesterday is good enough for me and it kind of looks like it. I was going to try curl it again but I don't think I need to so I'm going to turn that off. So. I use the Mark Anthony or no actually yes it's still Mark Anthony but it is the dream big volume from shoppers and sometimes when my dog is sleeping by my chair I have to be careful so we're just gonna poof it up a little bit I'm so glad I got my hair done all those that's gray wisdom highlights poof it up there a little bit and 
we are good to go. I that's what I love about next day hair is that you don't have to do too much with it. Actually, my hair is four days old because the first two days I didn't do anything and left it in a little bun, ponytail. So just take a little bit of spray. And it doesn't matter if it gets messed up when I'm doing my massage because I put it up in a bun anyway. So, so I think that is it. I do need to go wash my hands because now we're going to take a look at the beautiful Corinne. So I will be right back. Okay, so I washed all the hairspray and the makeup and I think I will move this all. Oh, I didn't finish my questions. Okay, so how do I store my bags? Yes, I told you that. How often do I dust my bags? Um, once a week for sure, sometimes twice a week and the shelves and everything around there because they tend to get a little dusty when they're not stored. And how long have I been collecting my bags for? About six or eight years. I started with Walmart bags. Then I went to Sears, but Sears now closed down. And then I graduated to guest bags. I still love guest bags, but that was like my most expensive bag was like a hundred dollar guest. Like that was just so expensive for me because um, I had little ones at that time. They were in hockey, sports, school, you know, all that fun stuff. And then as they got older, I started investing in um, Michael Kors on Kijiji and Pre-Love. That's how I started. And eventually I got, went to the MK store in Edmonton, got my first actual MK from there. And the rest is history and then it's coach Tori Birch Rebecca Minkoff all those fun stuff actually Tori Birch coach and Rebecca Minkoff I just came back to this year I was using coach a few years ago but then I stopped because the styles weren't my style and now they're coming back like the Cassie the Laura you could see the Laura's right there and yeah, I'm loving Coach again and Tori Birch. I This is my first time collecting Tori Birch. So that is all my questions. Now let's get into the Corinne. So I'm gonna move my stuff here and I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. And um, you know, we'll just get going like that. So behind the scenes get ready with me okay wait i guess we can turn off that light push my makeup over there grab my bag excuse me tika so here we go here it is i'm gonna actually bring my camera up a little bit so that you can see there we go i don't know if you can see tika up tika Okay. No, she's getting scared. Okay. It's okay. Never mind. She gets scared super easily. So, so yes, it's right here. The beauty. Now I wanted to wear gray just so that you could see the contrast of the bag. And I'm actually going to turn off my light. So a gray top and then the contrast of this. It's not very lavender, though it's not a very dark lavender, but it does have some color to it. So we'll get right into it. And there I have the dust bag. So one of the things I noticed is that it's really, really pliable. And I do like the mouth of the bag as well. So it does have your zipper compartment right here, and it does have a slip compartment and actually, I want to see if my phone fits so 
Mm, yeah, it actually fits in there. So let's grab my other items. So we're gonna grab my wristlet, my sunglasses, and I'm just using these as an example because my K Q U A Y sunglasses K are in my vehicle. So we'll put the wristlet in there and then these big huge sunglasses in there. And I'll bring out my phone again. Oh yeah, my wallet. My wallet can go in there. So I hope you guys are liking these longer videos. I'm not sure if they're useful or you like spending time on them, but thank you if you are. So there is my stuff in there. I decided to bring out this regular iPhone with no case. And it can fit with no case, an iPhone nice and smoothly there. And then remember this big humongous strap? I'm not sure it, I like it, but it's, it's different. And then Okay, remember I was having trouble with this zipper? It's not too, too bad, but I pulled out the zipper thing and I don't know if I like that. I think I like it better in stored in here like that. Then it like makes it look smooth. So the zipper is smoother. And remember I said there is a zipper pocket right here. And you could put your keys, your lipstick, oops, I just shut it. Keys, lipstick, something like that. It is fabric lined, so there it is there. And so against the gray, oh, and I am wearing blue jeans. I forgot to show you the watch, which is the Coach Maddie watch. And then just some pearl earrings from Ricky's so that's there on medium build you can put it on the crook of your arm but it doesn't go very far it's basically how it goes and let's see we should maybe lengthen these and then you can see how it looks like as a crossbody and I'm not familiar with this strap so I'm just going to pull it out, I guess, and I guess I'll take it off the bag and then I can show you on camera. So I guess you pull it this way or this way. Hmm. How does it go? I think you have to do it at an angle. I don't want to wreck it. It seems like it wants to wreck if I... Ah. See, these are the mishaps you get. Okay, I think you have to do it at an angle. And it doesn't want to go. Why is that? Ow, oh, and I'm hurting my nails. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So you got to lift it up sideways and then put it that way. That was difficult. So we'll just put it, I guess, on the longest setting and then you can see. And I'm five, five and a half in terms of reference. So I'm putting it at an angle. I don't think I'll be switching these that often because it's kind of, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> it doesn't want to go in and my fingers aren't strong enough. There, whew, that was a lot of work. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we do have it on the longest setting and then you can see. Whoops. Ow, my nail. All right, let's get this going. Okay, whew. So this is the longest setting and, oh, I think I wrecked my nail doing that. Ow. So it goes below my hips. And then, actually, I don't think I'm minding this strap, to tell you the truth. And then, but I did want to grab my prism strap, 
just to show you, yeah, I did wreck a nail. Ow. So, that is the difficulty right there. Actually, yeah, I'm actually, don't mind that strap now that I've lengthened it. And it's a little stiff right now, but. So now I'm grabbing the prism and this is in the color orchid. I don't know if these two colors, it does have silver hardware, but I don't know if these two colors would work together. Like this is a little too dark, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but let me grab the prism strap because it is also in silver. And this might be a little too dark as well. So when you do have bags in kind of the same color family, you, I find that you can, you know, um, mix them up. So that's a little dark actually, but I do have one bag to grab from and that is the Mercer. So I do have elastic on here, a black elastic, because I didn't like the way it flapped and it didn't have that extra piece of leather there. So this is the slimmer strap and I do have one more to grab from which would be, oh yes. Oh yeah, one of my subscribers wanted to know if this is the same color. So, well, what it is in compared and this is the Manhattan and Let's just get this out a few more minutes before it conks out on me. This is pale lilac. So this is last year's color. It's a lot more pink. Oops. And as you could see, it goes. So this one, hmm. I don't know. I think I like this one kind of goes more than this one because this one is kind of more on the purpley side but i mean it is supposed to go with this one because this one's on the different color scheme so yeah i think it, it goes better with this one i don't think i'll even try the mercer so yeah put those down here and I am going to let this video run and do start doing my tear down but I did want to say I'm bringing my chair here <laughs> there is the current so you know please like this video because you know it does help in the YouTube ratings it does help my channel helps me stay alive with my videos and gets them out there and yeah please give it a like thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel the mk lady also don't forget to hit the notification bell because every time i upload a video you will get notified have a great day bye i'm gonna let the camera run here while i do takedowns and turn off all my lights maybe you'll get to see my dog as well she's kind of in the background so now we have to put all these away and I don't know I really do like this I don't know we'll see we'll see what I decide to do I'm not exactly sure but it looks nice too as that uh,